Here we see the critics in their natural environment. They are about to embark on a long journey. Some of them will not survive. What the fuck? What do you mean by that? Fetch me their souls! Honestly, I have very mixed feelings on this. So do I. There's not much I can praise about this episode. It's not because it's bad. No, it's not bad. It's, it's just in the in the grand scheme of things, it's, it's very just... it's very necessary. But overall, writing wise, it felt hasty. Mm-hmm. We needed a resolution of Burke's gold, which we got. Yes, we got that, and we got and we got more involvement with the writers and the hunters. Yes, which we yeah, which was kind of absent in the previous season. Yeah, but the resolution of Dagger was D- a big excuse me hiccup. <laughs> ha! Oh boy, I know. Yeah, yeah. The okay, the resolution between. Yeah, Heather and Dagger, I did f- did feel was a little hasty. Um, okay, the whole th- the whole episode is that Dagger finally returns with information that he knows where Vigo is hiding uh, oh. his gold, which would which by extension would be Burke's gold. So if they can find it, they can you know cripple the their finances, and and all the while also Dagger just suddenly sponta- spontaneously says that oh also uh heather is going with me to f- to find our father oh yeah our father isn't dead we think he might be alive somewhere what what yeah that's the other oswald the agreeable who we thought was dead was well, which well, they we pretty were... much hinted at being dead yes is alive this is this is beyond shovel on the in twists here <laughs> i i uh let's 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 not try to be so, uh, ha- haughty. Let's just call okay, it what it is. It's a cop out. Yes, this was a cop out. Okay, I we mean, could, like okay. First off, no, the dad's died. No, a uh, dagger killed the dad. Uh, that's not true. Now the dad's not dead. Yeah, now now pretty much the dad left for some reason. So it's not he's not just uh he's he's a, he's a deadbeat dad essentially now. Yes. <laughs> okay, maybe that's just a harsh judgment, but yeah. So this ma- this man who we've heard about, never seen, and has pretty much been hinted at as not as now not being alive anymore. Somehow is alive and is gone. I mean, granted, we we only have Dagger's word, mm-hmm. but uh, Dagger, yeah. Uh, so, and the sad thing is, there's nothing that's really safe in this episode. There's no humor. Yeah, not not much, not much humor. I mean, granted, except, except, you know, except for the twins, you know, with Tough Nut, you know. <laughs> really, it's not not even they can save what I feel is a bad episode. This is yeah. This is is essentially a a C minus episode. Yes, it's borderline on the D. Mm-hmm. So what? So what can what can can we talk about? Okay, what I can say that I like is that is just the is the uh, uh, Heather legs, Heath legs, maybe Heath legs, Heath Heath legs moment. You know, it would it which is so tender and also kind of <laughs> which kind of also. Piss kind of angers me a little bit because in you know in movie two he's pining over Roughnut, and he pretty he says that I'll always be here for you and I was like okay like emotional emotionally you're not gonna wait for her, but we I can't fault that because movie t- this was made after movie two right this was made after movie two but chronologically movie two takes place a year after that so. Apparently, apparently he was willing to wait, but only but there was a time limit. 
Apparently. Yeah. But, um... Eh. But then again, maybe something happened. Mm. Maybe something happened. Like what? Well, who knows? Um, no letters from Heather indicating something may have gone amiss. Yeah, or maybe, maybe she became another Oswald. Maybe. Uh, all right. The okay. Some of the uh, the assets that we're getting getting into editing ter- editing terms now. I th- I think we're not. They weren't really high quality. So like when we see like wheel tracks. No, something looks wrong. Look at this fish. You see something odd about this? Yeah, they look flat. Yeah, they do. there doesn't seem to be any de- any depth to them. So, and, that, and so when when I'm seeing when I see that, I just can't take my eyes off of it. And granted, that was only the second. That was only my second viewing. First viewing, I was just along for the ride. All right, then. Okay, how about the? Okay, how about the elephant in the room? The ships, all the the ships were covered from stern to stem as dragon proof, and then layered with wood. It's not possible, but but, but how? I I have no idea. I, I'm I, not going to question it. It's, it's yeah. This it, it's it's the world of dragons. <laughs> oh now oh now you're letting now you're letting your suspension of of disbelief go. Yeah, because I learned that I I just am I just seeing that I just like whatever. Okay. I mean, if if Hiccup can make make a diving bell, why not? All right, touche. So yeah, sorry if we're not so very energetic. This episode didn't really offer a lot, and not a lot of praise. No, no, the only the, no. only the only thing I can praise is just, I guess the I guess the writing and the whole reveal of where the gold is. Honestly, on the plus side, the the beginning was good in a sense. It actually was kind of relevant, you know how, you know, fish like not fish like. God damn, this episode is really draining. <laughs> uh, All right. How Hiccup and Toothless are training via going underwater blasting. Yeah. Which does become a little bit relevant. Yes. Not to mention how it was entertaining to see daggers like, this guy looks kind of like you. He's kind of scrawny <laughs> like you. And I, okay, I, yeah, I, that, that I, was I did, funny. I did a berserk chokehold, and the twins are going like, mm-hmm. they're like, that's ah, ah, that's that's, 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 that's not the that's not the chokehold. What's the chokehold? It's is that <laughs> yeah yeah that one. <laughs> yeah. So yeah yeah, and it's so that, okay. What what can what is kind of. But uh, what is kind of funny about this is, you know, Dagger is being being Dang. Dagger. Okay, okay. I swear to God, this is this this almost feels like remnants of the Night and the Fury back when Dagger was going full ham. <laughs> he almost reached the same <laughs> level. Oh uh, yeah, you know, going you know with the Berserk War cry. <laughs> it was- <laughs> There's like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the only saving grace is his dagger in this episode. I, I know, and and un, unknowingly, Heather was also hilarious when she was trying. <laughs> she was trying the berserk war cry, but uh, unfortunately, dagger can't pull this one out of the rut. No. So ultimately, this this episode pretty much only served its purpose to the. It was only it was only serviceable to the plot, and that yeah. what and that was just to resolve the whole uh, gold, the uh, gold fiasco, uh, bring Dagger back, and then uh, re- have a reason why Heather doesn't show doesn't show up in movie two. Honestly, I, I wish to, I, w- I think they could have done that better. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it did feel rushed. It did feel rushed. I mean, this could have been a two-parter. It could have. It probably it, would have worked better as a two-parter. It probably would have better. The first, the, the halfway part is them getting captured. No, yeah. have the whole entire episode of them looking for the gold, and then fall into a trap. And th- then, like, okay, maybe the first half of part one, 
could have just been could have just been spent on Dragon Dragon's Edge. You know, saying like, "Hey, I know where. Hey, I know where Vigo hides his gold. You do? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Well, then. Yeah. And then also, once we're done with that, Heather and I will will go out and to search for our father. That first half, and then that could have been of you know like Heather and and that, fish legs dealing with that. Yes, that's that's what it should have been. And then the other then the other half would have been spent searching for the gold and then uh, probably again you know seeing as how this is going to how Heather's leaving is going to affect well fish legs, fish legs as well as the other writers but even Heather herself. Yeah. But uh, you know what's done is done. And, and, we can we can't change the past. And looking back at our, our previous vlogs, or the first first time we saw Heather and how we hated her, and, <laughs> and now and now looking at us now, yeah, we we don't want to see her go. I mean, she just she fits in she has, with the even, writers. Even when I said the name her itself, Heather does doesn't just doesn't kind of mesh. It just. Over time, it, it kind of feels lonely without it. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, it does. So, yeah, so the end of the episode, she kisses fish legs. On the on, cheek. On the, on, on the cheek. cheek. Okay, yeah, so it's not on the cheek, yeah, but still, but it's kiss. Just... <laughs> it's a, it's a, forget, forgive the pun, a dagger to the heart. <sighs> ah. And yeah, they... Heather and Dagger fly off into the sunset, you know, to find to find their father and rebuild the Berserker tribe. And it and it just ends. Well, wants a writer. Always a writer. This was a very depressing vlog. It is. I don't think we had such a vlog that was this somber since Race to Fire Worm Island. And that was a, and that was a good kind of depressing. Yes, it was. You you want to just end this vlog now? Yes. Right. Let's watch something happy. Yeah. Maybe some non baka. I agree. All right. Uh, well, bef well, before we end this, uh, DreamWorks, give us the snap trapper, please. <laughs>